is good for kids, providing they don't hurt themselves. In this week's Positive Parenting, Daybreak Samantha Bender offers a few tips to keep your child healthy and on the field this season. Many student athletes are already training hard for fall sports. Dr. Chris Liebig, a sports medicine physician, says while sports can be positive for students' mental and physical health, they can put a lot of stress on these young bodies. He tends to see lots of injuries throughout the fall sports season. We certainly start to see an uptick, you know, through these months and really all the way through December. Dr. Liebig says when you have these athletes competing at the level they are, you're naturally going to see a variety of injuries from head to toe. But one of his mantras is... Everybody trains hard, um, everybody plays hard, but nobody rests hard um, seemingly anymore. He says about half of the injuries they end up seeing are overuse injuries. I like to say when the check engine light comes on, you, you know, that, you know, the coaches and parents, you know, hear them. Um, and um, if they are at any point uncomfortable with how uncomfortable uh, their son or daughter is, um, you know, that they that they get them evaluated. And really, you should be getting them evaluated before you even suspect an injury to get a good baseline. We really encourage a full thorough exam to really uh, get a good history, get a good family history, listen for cardiac murmurs on exam, etc. With the demands on kids, listening to their bodies can be difficult. But Dr. Liebig recommends simple things like staying hydrated, getting good sleep, and eating nutritious meals. He says warming up and stretching both before and after an activity, even just for five minutes, can also go a long way in preventing injury the next time around. As the growing body, you know, quite literally, the muscles can't keep up sometimes with with their growing bones. And, and as they get tighter, um, they're, they're kind of prone to not only those overuse injuries, but then those acute injuries. With this week's Positive Parenting Report, I'm Samantha Bender.